nice open pan take about uh, three, two tablespoons of oil and uh, let this become nice and hot okay I'm going to add 10 to 12 curry leaves and half an onion finely chopped now we're just going to let this cook until the onion becomes nice and soft once the onions become nice and soft I'm going to add one medium sized tomato finely chopped okay. now we're just going to let this cook until the tomato becomes nice and soft and oozes out all the water so this may take about three to four minutes on low flame now that you see the tomatoes have become nice and soft I'm going to add about one teaspoon of um, pepper powder now I'm now going to add some green peas so I'm going to take about six tablespoons of green peas Okay, so my green peas are already boiled, which is why I don't need to boil them. But just in case they aren't boiled in your case, then just boil them initially and then you could add it to this mixture. Okay. Just going to wait for a minute, a minute and a half and then I'm going to add my corn. I'm adding about, uh, you know, half the proportion of corn as to the green peas. That's because corn will be seen very easily in the dish, however the green peas will may get a little lost because they are small green peas so if you add added 6 tablespoons of green peas then you basically add about 3 tablespoons of corn again this is already boiled so you know I haven't boiled this earlier I'm just adding them already boiled just kind of mix this really good and uh, let this saute for about 2 minutes on low flame now that this has begun sauteing I'm now going to add one teaspoonful of chili garlic paste now i have made this from uh, two red chilies that is two red kashmiri chilies or any red chilies that you have which are dried and uh, four peels of garlic and uh, that's my paste i'm just going to add it okay saute it well with the mixture and one teaspoon of uh, ginger garlic paste mix this well I'm going to sprinkle some coriander leaves as well. Okay. Add about half a teaspoon of salt to this mixture. Now, while this is sauteing, I'm going to show you my rice. So, I have just pre cooked rice in the microwave, and this is about one cup of rice. I haven't added any salt to this. Okay, so I'm going to add this to my mixture now. So we have no water, this is a nice sauté mixture. I'm just going to pop in some rice and show you. Ensure that your rice is well cooked. Okay. At the same time it shouldn't be soggy. You should be able to see it like nice white pearls. Now depending on how you like your rice, you could probably add just half a cup of rice to this mixture so that uh, you know you have more of your chili garlic saute with it. But uh, in case you like more of the rice, you could add more rice. Okay. Because generally chili garlic rice is eaten with uh, you know chicken tawa fry which is also one of the videos I've posted. It tastes beautiful with that. So which is why one cup of rice is added. So even it's okay if it turns out a little dry because you'll have the chicken tawa fry to toss it with it. Okay. But uh, if you're just going to eat the rice as is, don't worry. You can just add half the quantity so you know it's not very dry. Keep mixing this for about two minutes so that your saute can mix very well with the rice. Okay, so I've been mixing it for about two minutes now so that the spices soak into your rice well. Okay guys, so your chili garlic corn rice is absolutely ready. It's a good packed lunch. It's it's a beautiful main course rice pulao dish or a rice fried rice dish. This tastes amazing. Trust me. 
Now while serving, you could just toss up some cashews if you like and serve this nice and hot. So thank you very much and uh, hope you guys enjoyed watching this video and you guys will try it out in your homes. And do write to me if in case you want me to really teach you or to cook with you a recipe of your choice. I'll be more than happy because um, I believe in inspiring a lot of people to cook. And now that I have that kind of expertise, I want to pass it on to everyone. So thank you and uh, see you again in my next video. Bye-bye.